August 8, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and seven months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 531 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. Rumor has it that Ukraine is currently fighting for a new foothold on the left bank of the Dnieper. The Kremlin aimed two missiles at the same residential location with a delay, which apparently was designed to harm first responders. The big story is the confirmation of the movement of large number of Kremlin brigades in Zaporizhia. Dnieper Line. Both sides are making claims over a supposed landing of Ukrainian troops around the large town of Kozachi Lahiri on the left bank. This urban district is sited roughly halfway between the Antonivka Bridge and the Nova Kakovka Dam, and not far north of the Oleshki Sands Park. Shelling into right bank was increased in the last day, with 342 shells fired at 68 different targets. Zaporizhia Front The big news of the day is that the Kremlin has transferred tens of thousands of troops into and around the Robotyne and Morki Yali zones. At Robotyne the Kremlin has added a handful of bar squads, teams that are known for mining and entrenching. They have also sent the 218th Tank Regiment, possibly as many as 90 tanks, along with the 114th Motor Rifle and 100th Recon Brigades. The 71 Guards Regiment appears to either have moved from Robotyne to, or been properly map located at, Priyatn on the Morki Yali. Also added to the Morki Yali invasion troops, the 247th Guards Air Brigade has been pulled from reserve around Bakhmut, and placed south of Staromayersk. East Front, Donetsk. Kremlin troops repelled at Mariinka and Avdiivka. Those Ukrainian troops defending in those two cities deserve much praise. Bakhmut area. Fighting continues to be heavy at Klishchivka, with the Kremlin making at least three attacks that were rebuffed. The movement of the 247th Guards Air from this area does little to impact the immediate situation, as the tens of thousands of Kremlin troops between Krydyamivka and Bakhmut will offer plenty of drone targets for weeks to come. Oskol border front. Kremlin mouthpieces are focused on claimed successful attacks east of Kupiansk. Ukraine confirms that attacks have occurred, but continues to report they have rebuffed those attacks. Air dropped bombs and missiles hit a large number of targets south and immediately east of Kupiansk. Fighting continues for the slopes around Novosilivsky. Northern border. Belarus is performing live fire exercises at the Poland Lithuania Belarus border. Shelling of houses along the border continues. Black Sea. The Kremlin's active duty fleet on the sea is nine warships, capable of a salvo of eight caliber. Ukraine world related. The Kremlin is blaming Ukraine for Russian pensioners burning draft offices. We suppose it may be true that Ukraine made the offers. Consider, if your elders will arson your military draft offices for cash, your society is still done. Moving to the east, Japan has added sanctions against the Kremlin and Russian state for the invasion of Ukraine. The U.S. has announced $200 million in arms to include munitions, Patriot missiles, and other necessary equipment. Germany is sending another 30 Leopard 1 tanks. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.